barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to join the Patreon. The, the link will be in the description box. March 25th, meet me at the Nevada Athletic State Commission, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 555 East Washington. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all there. They got a public comment section. You get three minutes. Even if you don't want to speak, come out and support, man. If we can get some people there, that would be awesome. Now, boxing. As it relates to Tyson Fury's glove. You know what would be a beautiful thing? If fighters spoke out and spoke up about this issue. Um, there's enough evidence online. Uh, there's enough evidence on my channel, Young Pharaoh's channel. The list goes on and on as it relates to question, at least questioning his gloves. You know, because one day it's going to be you. There's no doubt in my mind. I don't care who you are in this sport of boxing. Boxing will use you and spit you out. No one, I, I, I don't know a fighter that's immune to that. You know, um, there are exceptions to the rule, but on a macro level, you will be manipulated and used by this sport of boxing. And um, um, because um, Tyson Fury's arm uh, in terms of media is connected to how much money that they actually make, um, mainstream media will not pick up the story. But the, mo the more beautiful thing about this story in its totality is the fighters have the control. Simply put, you know, uh, because if the fighters spoke up and spoke out about this, then we can begin to move forward as it relates to the benefits of the fighters. Now, I want fighters to grasp and understand this notion. The last third of your career, your earning power is going to drop by every fight is going to drop. 50%, 10%, 10%, 5%, 5%, 5%. And then you're going to wake up at 36 with no skills. And hopefully you made some investments. But you're going to wake up at 36 realizing realizing you really have no skills in the, in the real world. And you say, how and why? I, I see it with all my NBA guys. Um, they've been playing basketball for 30 years. I'm 42 now, so a lot of my NBA guys are retiring now friends I should say or associates they're retiring now from from the NBA and uh, they come back to LA and and if they don't get a college job if they don't get a high school coaching job or anything as such they don't have they don't have tr a true skill set to function in the real world and and that's what's gonna happen to boxers but what's more ailing about boxers is the art of communication the art of function functionality with your body you know, uh, boxers have a different lifestyle post-boxing career. Um, communication to actually verbalize your thoughts are a little bit different. Um, and there's no protection. You know, at, at least my NBA guys, they get a pension. You know, fighters, you get no pension. And I was, I was just saw Tommy Hearns. His biggest asset now is people getting excited to see him. But if you ask him now, what would the younger Tommy Hearns do? I guarantee you he would have navigated his career entirely different and spoke out more about the business of boxing and how it uses and destroys boxers. Um, you know, it's... Um, Hopefully this video inspires you. Hopefully this, hopefully this video inspires fighters to speak out and speak up. Um, because it's important. And there will be a few exceptions to the rule. Maybe this won't affect you. But how about that young fighter who's a B-class fighter that you trained with for 10 years? You know, you, you've been in the same gym with him for 10 years. Although you're an A-level fighter, you're a million-dollar fighter. He's a thousand-dollar fighter. And that's how he feeds his family. And when he gets 32 and 33 and gets three losses in a row, how is boxing going to reward him for entertaining us for 10 years? And that's the bigger picture in all this, man. And uh, uh, I, I hope that y'all get it. And 
Um, so that's what I believe, man. So barbershop conversations, man. Hopefully you guys have a splendid Saturday. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Peace.